Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and welcome back to another Taskmaster Challenge. This is the third uh, third week of Season 2 of our Taskmaster Challenge. Last week, uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, we came up pretty, pretty short. We only got two points. Uh, but, good news is, uh, Stealth, while he did better this week than he, or last week than he has been, still, he's still one point behind us, I believe. Brother Monroe and I are still tied. Some deja vu going on. And then, of course, the Serious Strategy Gamer does it again, guys. Just comes in and absolutely wipes the floor with us, making us all look like a bunch of plebs. So uh, we're going to have to try to get all the points this week. Um, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be an easy task. Uh, it's going to come down to whether or not we get lucky more than anything, I think. It's going to be very difficult. But what are we going to do? You know what I'm saying? So week three is Germany versus France. We get 1924 tech, they get 1920s tech. We get a heavy cruiser, they get a battleship, a light cruiser, and two destroyers. The points are as follows, and they both hinge on one thing, sinking the battleship. If you sink the battleship, you get three points. If you sink the battleship without hitting it with torpedoes, you get an additional two points. So here's the deal. I would love to build this thing solely as a gunboat and go in to fight and hope to uh, sink the battleship with just guns alone. I don't think that that is feasible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a contingency plan. I'm going to have torpedoes on standby. And if I am unable to do much with my guns, I will at least be able to sink the battleship with the torpedoes. Uh, that is the goal. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, it doesn't say that we can't put torpedoes on our ship and uh, get points. It says if you do not hit the battleship with torpedoes, you get an extra two points if you sink it. Okay? So that would be a total of five points. But those are the only two ways you win this. So really, the light cruiser and two destroyers, you don't even have to worry about. Okay? So keep that in mind. Now we're going to take a look. I'm not familiar with the uh, German heavy cruisers too much, so... Looks like the Heavy Cruiser 2 hull is the best, or at least the biggest. And when you're going up against battleships, the biggest is probably the best. Now, that being said, while this says you can have a theoretical tonnage of 20,500, uh, you can clearly see that the game is not going to allow you to do that. Meaning, 16,924 is about as big as we get. Uh, looks like we're up to 16,952. 16,9.99. So it must be a 17,000 ton limit on this. So that begs to question, what about the advanced armored cruiser? What does it go up to? About 17,000 tons as well. So, there's really no difference in hull size to go from this to this. With the exception of the hull form and stability, resistances, and turning. So, I'm going to say probably best to go with the most modern hull. Take that all the way up to the 17,000 limit. It would be real nice if I could just type 17,000 in there. All right, 16999 I can't get that 17000 for some reason. All right. So, let's go ahead and drop the range all the way down. Let's go with maximum bulkheads because you know we're going to be taking hits. That is pretty obvious. All right, let's go with the best that we can do, which is an oil boiler, or oil burner. Um, 
We'll probably be going force boilers because I highly doubt that. Yeah, we can't get diesel engines. So gear turbines. Uh, auxiliary threes. Shaft threes. Krupp four armor. Anti-torpedo I don't think is going to be that big a deal. Because we can probably just outturn torpedoes. So I'm not too worried about that. The triple hull bottom, though, should be huge for helping us, uh, you know, take... Well, again, that's more along torpedo damage, but it also gives you a plus 5% regular resistance. So that could come in handy for us. Uh, we're going to go with the reinforced bulkheads, the best anti-flooding, and we are definitely going to be going with a uh, turtleback armor scheme. Okay. So, let's look at the main tower. It looks like we only get one main tower, so that's what we get to use. Alright, and secondary tower. We get two secondary towers to choose from. And, might as well grab the best secondary tower. All right, that really does not leave a whole lot of room on this ship to do anything, to be real. Um, what's our weight? We are already at 13, well, 12 and a half thousand tons. Uh, so that's a thing. All right, so funnels, we got to have a funnel. So we might as well go with an advanced funnel and see where that puts us as far as engine efficiency. We're at 82 and a half percent engine efficiency. Uh, we're currently at 31 max or 31 knots max, so we'll keep it there for now. Uh, that should be fine. That puts us in. Uh, I guess there is a slight lack of torque at higher RPMs, but it's really inconsequential uh, considering the weight savings. Anyway, so we'll keep that for now. Uh, for guns, I'm thinking like we really do want big guns. And I'm trying to think of what we want to do here. So, right here we have 8-inch guns, Mark 3s. 9-inch guns are Mark 4s. Mark 4s. Mark 3s. So, we may just go with 10-inch guns. So let's let's just check out the 10-inch guns. Now, at this low of a of what is our what is our role in everything currently? 5.1 and 0 0.8. Okay, I imagine that's going to get much worse when we go slapping these on here. Uh, triple barrels is probably a bit of a stretch considering 1920s. Uh, it, we're going to get a hefty freaking penalty for triple barrel tech. So maybe we go with double barrels. But do we really want doubles? Like, here's where I wish it would show me the, um, like, accuracy debuff. Oh, wait, it actually does if you look at it. So, let's just say we're starting it beyond our maximum range. So, 17,500 is our maximum. And at that range, triple barrel 0.3%. Okay, so there's no change there. But definitely once you get inside 12 and a half um, thousand meters, uh, you, you're starting to see a bit of a better accuracy. And then it gets better from there. But it's really inconsequential. It's like a 2% overall. So do we really, really want to? I'm going to say probably not. So maybe we take the triple barrels uh, and just eat the damage or eat the accuracy penalty. All right, so what does that do? We've got a 20.1 pitch, 
We've got a uh, very minimal roll, so the roll's not bad. Uh, but the pitch is definitely an issue. Now, the pitch, if I remember correctly, is because of stuff high up, right? Or no, it's just heavy objects along the center line. So, yeah. Um, now, we did say we were thinking about putting some torpedoes on this as well. If we take that tur that turret away, that really does limit our, uh... Okay, so... We want some torpedoes on this thing. I wouldn't mind having secondaries either. We need to do for uh, some five inch secondaries. Slap them up here anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Four inch secondaries. Nope. Three inch secondaries. There we go. That has increased our roll quite a bit. But that gives us a little bit of a, you know, a standoff for the destroyers. Um, and then torpedoes. Let's see what we got. We can go all the way up to times four. Uh, what is the reload time on these? 936 seconds versus 700 seconds. Oof. Put those there and there. Maybe a third set there. And then we come down here. We should be able to do some of this, like uh, the best barbet armor. Um, we're going to be using super heavy shells. Two powder gives us 10.5% uh, more penetration. So I feel like we're probably going to need that. So we'll go ahead and use tube powder. Uh, we're going to use the electrical hydraulic turrets. Standard reloading is fine. Standard torque propulsion. We want oxygen if we can. We can't. Fast, we don't need that. So standard is fine. And go up to maximum size of torpedo, and that puts us overweight. And we could do what we always do, which is drop our. Uh, let's see what do we got? We got 47 roll right now, which is horrible. Take those two off. That gives us a 31.7 roll. There we go. All right. This gives us a pretty healthy firing arc, but do we maybe want to bring that forward? No, because this we this we already have a weight offset forward. We put that up there. Yeah, that's gonna make that worse. Um, honestly, though, it helps with the roll angle a little bit. Maybe because it's wider up here. I don't know. Maybe we can put this one further back. There we go, down to 24.9 with a 24.8 pitch.
this isn't leaving us much room for armor. Or we haven't even done any of the other stuff. Like we haven't put our, uh, this is a coincidence rangefinder. Which gives you a bonus to gun aiming speed and accuracy. That's probably what we'll go with there. Probably ought to have the sonar. And then... This is early radar. We don't get radar at this tier. Or at this tier. At this year. Uh, now this puts us overweight. Which is not preferable. So we are probably going to drop our speed down. Probably reduce us to maybe 26 knots. Because I need to put some armor on this thing. I mean, we're going up against a battleship in close quarters combat. So I need some armor. So let's increase our belt armor to 8 inches. Uh, belt extended. Do a little 5. Get our deck armor up to 4 inches. Deck extended. Okay, that appears to be the best that we're going to get. We're maxed out on our uh, ship. What are we called? Admiral Shear. All right. Fair enough. Now, again, the goal here is to avoid using the torpedoes. So we're going to shut the torpedoes off immediately. Uh, what is our range on our torpedoes? Nine and a half kilometers. So we've got to get close. All right. Other than that, I think we're ready to go, guys. Let's just hope for the best, shall we? Hope for the best. That is a very large battleship. Uh, lots of guns, it appears. The light cruiser also appears to be quite large. And the destroyer looks pathetic. So, good news there, but uh, these two could be a potential issue. So let's go ahead and start. Let's pause. Uh, we know that they are behind us, so we're going to go ahead and start our turn in. Uh, let's turn our torpedoes off. And we will only use those if we absolutely have to. Alright, so we have our first, t first contact. Let's go ahead and pause the game. Take a look at this bad boy. Alright, so it has 14-inch guns, so that's good. Not the biggest guns in the world, but still plenty to absolutely shred us, and it has lots of them. Um, yeah, this, this is scary. So we have 12 14-inch guns with lots of secondaries to worry about. Okay. Let's go ahead and speed up time. We see them, but we can't engage them yet, so the, the turrets haven't even started turning. We do have some pretty responsive uh, controls, so that's good. Something I'm not used to, anyway. Having a ship that can maneuver. Um, the end goal is to sink the battleship without using the uh, the torpedoes. But, at worst, we have to sink the battleship, regardless. And as we get close... We are going to absolutely be ripped apart by those 14-inch guns. I'm worried to, to try to maneuver because I'm afraid that I'm going to maneuver into his guns.
good news is accuracy for them hopefully is not going to be very good. Uh, there we have our destroyers spotted. Interesting that we spotted the destroyers ahead of the, the light cruiser. It's getting real close. Not gonna lie, not a big fan. We have switched targets to the destroyer. Let's go ahead, pause for a moment and take a look at this destroyer. So they have four inch guns and two inch guns, so their guns are basically useless. They do have quite a few torpedoes though. They have three triple launchers, it looks like. No, that's a quad launcher. Good lord. And these guys come packing. So, yeah, we... Oops. Close. Yeah, we have no choice. We have got to kill these destroyers. If we let these guys run free, they will murder us with those torpedoes. Oh, have faith. Have faith in the fact that these guys are going to miss us, guys. Please miss us. Okay, they missed. We're good. Okay, got a hit on the destroyer already. That bodes well. We're at 12 and a half kilometers from the battleship though. Got a flooding hit, very nice. The fact that we're this accurate on these guys already is huge. Those 14 inch guns are really starting to worry me. Our secondaries are now popping off. We have spotted torpedoes, and we know that they have a lot of them. So we're going to go ahead and change course immediately. Not even taking the chance. Able to dodge pretty easily. He just launched even more torpedoes. We're going to go ahead and cut all the way back around. More torpedoes spotted from the second destroyer. Our secondaries are hitting. We very nearly got caught by the 14-inch guns. Oh, heck no. You shoot those freaking destroyers. Ouch! And they destroyed some of my torpedoes already. Great. Okay, so they only get really the one launch of torpedoes. All right, so we are actually good. I am going to ignore those guys. Uh, is it... Alt? There we go. So, we'll target the battleship with our mains and target the destroyers with our secondaries. What's our range to the battleships now? 11.2. They are doing a little bit of damage to us, but mostly nothing. It's the battleship I'm most worried about for obvious reasons. And as you can see, we do have enough armor that we can avoid... What is this guy doing? No! You're literally turning into him, you dummy! 
God, the AI is so dumb! You're gonna get me killed! There was such an easier way to avoid this! Okay, down goes the one. Secondaries are now targeting the other DD. Mm, that could have been real bad. See, I tried to turn in to avoid him, and my freaking AI just takes over driving to avoid the collision. It just almost screwed me over. Right there. These three-inch secondaries are doing their work, man. They are tearing those destroyers apart. Come on, man. Finish him off. Capitan Mail. Okay, we are currently at 8.2 kilometers. We are officially in range or at least inside range to drop, but not guarantee a hit. What is our odds? 29.7% chance of penetrations at this range. I think I may go ahead and swap over to shooting at the cruiser. Okay, light cruiser has launched torpedoes. Oh my god, it has so many torpedoes. It has so many torpedoes. This could be really bad for us. Oh, please don't hit us. Oh god. We got lucky. Please don't hit. Oh, we took a big hit. We took a big hit, but we're good. We have dodged, so we gotta turn back in now. I'm telling you, closing this close to a freaking battleship is sketchy, man, especially when they've got 12, 14 inch guns ready to rip you apart. But as you can see, our armor is holding up. Okay, we're good. We have killed their commander on the light cruiser. How many more torpedoes do they have? They have a crap ton of torpedoes. And they just launched more. I can't see them! It's too foggy! Please don't hit, please don't hit, please don't hit. Okay, we good. All right, we've dodged. Go ahead, turn back in. Before this man gets reloaded, preferably. Never mind, he's loaded. Oh, we're good. It's a bit sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. This challenge is, is a fun one. We need to get rid of this 
cruiser. Actually, I take that back. Just stop shooting at the cruiser at this point. We only got 700 rounds left. We need to start making sure. Okay, they hit the funnel. It's not the end of the world. It is going to slow us down a bit, make us easier for them to hit. We are still at 25 knots, though. Down to 6.2, we are at... Ooh. We still have a 30% chance of penetration. This freaking... This cruiser dropping torps on me is actually going to get me killed. Not because he's torping me, but because of the fact that he's freaking dropping torpedoes and making me turn broadside in front of a battleship with 12 14 millimeter guns. 14 millimeter. 12 14 inch guns. Alright, there we got a hit. I'm gonna say that this is plausible at this point. The battleship, as long as we stay bow in, is struggling to penetrate us. We are getting some damage against him. There you go. We can do this. We can totally do this. I would like to get rid of this cruiser though. Not gonna lie. I would definitely like to get rid of this cruiser. For that reason, right there. All these freaking torpedoes the man keeps launching is gonna get me killed because of that. We start turning, the battleship catches us. He's starting to get some nasty hits. That was the main tower that got hit there. He's about to get even more torpedoes loaded. So expect those to be coming any point. He is starting to get a lot of damage on us now. Um, go ahead and Twerp. Whoo, this is gonna hurt. Yep, that one definitely did not feel good. All right, turn these back off. We need to finish this guy off. Come on, baby. Get out of here. All right, no more torpedoes. How is he still alive? All right, down he goes. Now, we haven't torped the battleship or anything like that. We have sent some torpedoes. We still have 20 of them left. Problem is, now this guy is going directly away from us. It's going to make it much harder for us to do anything to him. There we go. We got some hits. Let's switch to HE and see how that works. Seventy-five damage versus AP. Eight. So yeah, the HE is definitely the better option here. because of the fact that he is slightly angled away from us. Currently doing 24 knots, he's capable of 23 and a half, so we're basically match speed right now. Though we are starting to whittle him away. 
Do we have enough rounds? Thirty point seven percent chance of penetration. You can see he does occasionally get some hits on us. That was a belt, uh, bow belt extended. We got a main tower penetration. We just got another good hit on him. We knocked out one of his engines. There we go. Come on, Sheer. Struggling with the penetrations. All right, he just punched straight through our bow. We're a little too close. We're up to a 31% chance to penetrate. He's getting consistent damage through our, our bow now. We've knocked out a steering. We're not getting the kind of damage I would like with the AP. And he is just starting to rip us apart. Yeah, he's stacking it up on us now. All right, uh, do we call it? It's so close. Hey. We are doing damage. We're not, we're pumping out the water, so we're fine. He got another flood on us. He got a second flood on us. Like, I don't want to do the torpedo, but if I have to, I have to. You know what I'm saying? That was a massive hit right there. That was massive. He's really putting a hurt on us. I think we're going to do it. Let's just throw the torps out there. Because he is really starting to put a hurting on us. I'm on tarp already! Tarp! For God's sakes! Oh God, this is horrible. I think my torpedoes on the left side are knocked out. Okay, we got some torps in the water. Good luck dodging that, sunshine. Nighty night, baby. All right. Unfortunately, we didn't have a choice. We had to take him down. Uh, he was just doing too much damage. We got too close. Uh, we weren't able to get the penetrations with the main guns that I was hoping for. While we were knocking some of his health away, we were also getting low on ammo. Um, we had him down about half his hit points. So I'm going to just go ahead and take that three points. Um, it would have been nice to get all five, but you saw how much damage I was get, I was taking. Like the man was was hammering us pretty darn good. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up by killing this destroyer, who can do nothing to us. Um, 
and then we'll call it a call it an episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. We completed the objective. We sank the battleship, so that's at least three points for us. Like I said, it's unfortunate we weren't able to do it with the main guns. Probably should have went with those 11-inch guns. Um, I think if we had had just slightly more penetration, we'd have been able to do something. I thought with the super heavy shells um, we and the tube powder that we would have enough penetration, but that battleship was pretty tough. I mean, I don't know what his belt armor was. Yeah, I can't even look at his belt anymore. But... But overall, I'm happy with how we did. Uh, we're going to be able to kill this guy pretty quick. Again, I'm hoping... Like, I feel like it's going to be pretty... I, I think somebody, probably serious strategy, is going to get those... Maybe I should have stayed a little bit further range where I was hitting him and he wasn't hitting me as effectively. Because it definitely once we got real close to him, he was just hammering straight through our armor. Uh, no problem whatsoever. But... You know, I, I always try to get it a little too aggressive for my own good, but at the end of the day, we accomplished the goal. We got three points. That is at least safety. Uh, we shouldn't fall backwards unless everybody gets five points, which I find very unlikely. I think most people are going to get three. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If they go crazy like I did to try to get them, maybe they get detonated or something crazy happens. I could see that becoming a problem, but... Uh, I don't like leaving it up to them because they've already shown us, especially SSG. Serious Strategy Gamer, don't mess around, man. He just absolutely wrecks us. So, uh, yeah. We managed to take down all the enemies. So we got that going for us, too. But unfortunately, the only one that mattered was the battleship. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this challenge. I, I enjoyed it. It was a crazy challenge. Our heavy cruiser took down a battleship uh, mostly with, I mean, half his health was gone with our guns. That's pretty impressive for a heavy cruiser. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.